three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Carla Cisneros. I'm the council member for District H, where Second Ward is one of the most culturally rich and historically vibrant neighborhoods. Not just in District H, but across the whole city. Thank you all for being here and for representing your families and your organizations at this dedication of these historical panels that honor some of the leaders who have given shape to Second Ward. I'll be the MC for today's celebration and we'll be soon introducing our presenters. But first, let me just say, if this was any other time, this event would be a huge fiesta because this is a big deal. So it would be a celebration that everyone could come to and Guadalupe Plaza Park would be packed um, and full of, of proud residents of Second Ward and family members whose, um, wh whose family members are honored on these panels. But so instead, um, those of you here today are the representatives of many others. Thank you to everyone for understanding the need to be safe and to take precautions about um, staying apart, physically apart, socially connected, physically apart. Thank you for understanding about that, that the need to keep this event small so we can be safely together here today. Mayor, you have been unwavering in your support for protecting and safeguarding the history and the culture of the Latino community here in Houston. And all of us here are so grateful. Thank you for your strong commitment. This project wouldn't be happening without your continued support. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my sincere pleasure at this time to welcome our mayor, Sylvester Turner. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Appreciate it and appreciate working with, uh, with you and certainly want to commend you on your representation of District H and especially when it comes to education and our parks and our libraries. Look, uh, oh, please give it up to Council Member Carlos Cisneros. And then I have, I have the privilege of being with the sheriff uh, of the third largest county in the United States of America, uh, Ed Gonzalez. Thank you, man, for your incredible leadership. And I'm going to mention you briefly in this because before you were the sheriff, you were the city council person, so you know how it goes. And then our interim director for Parks and Rec, Kenny Allen. Give it up to Kenny Allen. Thank you, Kenneth. And then the state representative, Christina Morales. There she is. Where's Rob? Hey, man. Why don't you up here? Councilmember Robert Gallegos. Give it up. Councilmember Robert Gallegos, district guy. Hey, man. Love working with this guy. Uh, but Christina Morales, she brought her two grandkids, and let me tell you, they, they harmonize, you know, when they, when they say hello. So look, let me get directly to it on a, on a beautiful day in the second ward. You know, parks are an important part of a complete community, and Guadalupe, Guadalupe Plaza Park is certainly an important part of the history and culture of this community and of the city of Houston. Uh, the action plan for the second ward, complete community identifies recent projects, including the construction of Navigation Explanade and the rehabilitation of Guadalupe Plaza Park, while historic Seti Gas Park and East Wood Park still need updating. And I look, look forward to working with you to set a plan for that. Where's Juan? Where's, where did Juan go? This guy right there. <laughs> Let me tell you. He will text you in the morning, during the day, and late at night. I will not forget Guadalupe Park. I got you. You know, yes. Yeah, and, and I love him. I see Lenora right there. But uh, look, I am delighted to be here again. Lenora Pullman, Amy Amore, I see. I am delighted to be here again to enjoy the park redevelopment which was funded with a grant from the Federal Highway Administration Tiger Program awarded to the city of Houston in 2012. 
I was here in July 2016 along with our partners at the Greater East End Management District to celebrate the completion of the park redevelopment. We appreciate the Great East End Management District for their collaboration. I also appreciate the members of the community of Second Ward who advocated for ensuring the rich history of Second Ward and its impact on the city was honored here in the new park. This project was dedicated, we are dedicating today the El Paseo del Secundo Barrio. Was in, did I get that close? My tutor is really working on me. Uh, was initiated by you, the community leaders of Second Ward, just before I became mayor. But it's my pleasure to see it through the completion, and I'm honored to be here to celebrate the dedication with you. I would like to thank Sheriff Ed Gonzalez and Councilmember Cisneros. Quite frankly, because of the two of them, uh, they allocated funds from, the count, from their council district service budgets to ensure the historical research and design of the panels and tiles. And thank you to the team at the Houston Parks and Recreation Department and General Service Department for managing the research, design, and construction contracts that made this project today a reality. And thank you again to all of you for your leadership in Second Ward to ensure it's a thriving and complete community. And then let me assure, assure all of you, including one, that we are not finished yet. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you so much, Mayor. The Houston Parks and Recreation Department first broke ground on the redevelopment of Guadalupe Plaza Park in the summer of 2014. All this work began with my predecessor, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, who was Councilmember Gonzalez at the time. <laughs> Sheriff Gonzalez is the, also the one who initiated the historical panel project, investing $25,000 in council district service funds to get it going. When I became the council member, I honored the work that the sheriff had begun and added another $25,000 for the design and installation of the panels. Sheriff Gonzalez, we are so happy you are here. Thank you so much for initiating this amazing project and for sharing some remarks with us today. Well, good afternoon, Mayor. Thank you for being here. Greatly appreciate you and your leadership. Council member, thank you as well. It's been uh, great to see you at work and representing our district. It'll always have a, a warm place in my heart. I was born and raised in District H. I had the honor and privilege of representing this district for three terms, working with many of the community leaders that are here. And I like a saying that the mayor often shares uh, when he says that sometimes we plant seeds that will give rise to trees that provide shade that we may never see, but others will benefit from. And I'm so thrilled and grateful, thankful to God that I'm in a position where I can come back and see some of that work that we started. But it takes great leaders like this administration, this council member to make sure that they continue that investment, that it's not just an initial investment, but that it grows. I think it's very important as our communities continue to change as society changes and evolves that we never forget our history because we can always reflect back and see where it started. The shoulders of the giants that we all stand on their shoulders. And it's amazing that a new generation or even us can walk through here and reflect, reflect on those amazing leaders that have made this great community what it is and what it still can be. I, we can walk through here and recognize the great leadership and efforts of Mary Medina. You know, that, yes. We can learn about the Morales family, Felix Morales. Of, Christina's here. We can learn about the Fragas as well, with former council member Fraga as well, and so many more, because that's how we honor those that have paved the way for us, is by remembering them not forgetting them, remembering them, and building on that. When we started this project and the potential redevelopment for this project, it was very important to Mr. Juan Hernandez because he would text us also back then <laughs> and said, look, there's a lot of redevelopment. There's a lot of change happening. We can't forget our neighborhood and where it came from and the roots of this community. And we wanted to honor that commitment. So we worked together to make sure that we brought on a historian that would do the necessary research in a professional way and gather their stories 
and really those that are represented here are the representatives of those great individuals that came before us. And just like Houston is a diverse city now, and we owe a lot to that growth due to our immigrant community. Back then, it was the German community, it was the Mexican community that immigrated here and laid roots here, built businesses here, developed homes, raised families here, like Castillo family as well, you know, and so many. And so I'm just very grateful to be here. I hope that you tell others to come and walk through here because it'll do us no good if these are just nice panels and we don't come and appreciate it and bring others along the way. So we love you, Second Ward. Thank you all. Thank you, Jessica Holsey as well. She was one of the leaders that, you know, that, that helped. I see Mary Ramos. I see Lenora. Thank you so much for everyone for supporting this great day in the East End. Thank you. Oh yeah, Yolanda Navarro Black. Yeah, thank you, yes. Thank you. Yeah, she was also one of the ones that advocated strongly for this. Thank you all. Let's give the sheriff a big hand. Thank you, Sheriff. As you mentioned, you know, we all stand on the shoulders who came before. So our interim Houston Parks Director, Kenneth Allen, is very tall indeed. As you were handed the baton to carry on the work of former Parks Directors Joe Turner and Stephen Wright, the, complete, the completion of this project is an accomplishment that the Houston Parks and Recreation Department is very proud of. Please help me welcome Director, Interim Director Kenneth Allen. All right. Thank, you. Thank you, Council Member. You know, this is, a, this is an amazing day. It's a beautiful day. It was dialed up for us to be here and to celebrate this, this extraordinary accomplishment. I was talking to a gentleman as I walked up and I looked around and looked at the park and he told me a little bit about the rich history um, of this neighborhood from the Oscars meat market that was across the street to the flea market that was on the park grounds to the church across the street. And so when you look at the transformation of this park and this community, it's truly amazing and it just could not happen without communities working together and investing back into their parks, not only seeing projects through, but also being good stewards. You know, when things are happening in, in the community, reaching out to council members, reaching out to business owners, and reaching out together to, to just make things happen. So I'm excited, I'm honored to be here, and it's just a pleasure to celebrate with you. So thank you very much, and you guys continue to work together, and we'll make great things happen. Thank you so much, Director. Through various meetings with stakeholders in the community, many of them from families who would be highlighted in the panels, um, the panels interpret the history of Second Ward through um, a number of categories. They were timeline, business, community, culture, food of course, leaders, neighborhoods, parks, and religion. Dr. Natalie Garza was hired to conduct the historical research that provided the content of the interpretive panels. Dr. Garza is a graduate of Dartmouth College and Northeastern University and is herself a resident of Second Ward. So Natalie is a professor of history at Houston Community College and has published and lectured extensively on subjects related to Mexican American culture, history, and identity. Welcome, Dr. Garza. Hi, uh, this is my first time speaking through a mask to an audience, so hopefully this goes well. Um, I want to thank uh, Sheriff Gonzalez and Councilmember um, Cisneros because uh, without them, this wouldn't have happened. You know, uh, the support of the leadership and the leadership of the Parks Department. I also uh, want to thank the community for trusting me to write the history. Uh, and I do live in, in uh, the East End and this history was very personal to me uh, and meant a lot to me. Uh, some of the things that come through very clearly from talking to people and doing the research and writing the history is a sense of community that has existed here for generations but not just the building of community, but the sense of service to one another as well. That has been something that's been really consistent. And by service, I mean 
different things from from wanting to help one another out uh, to supporting one another to you know doing things like Mr. Hernandez and and advocating for the community itself. Uh, I am a professor at Houston Community College and I, one of the classes I teach is Mexican American history and when I teach that class a lot of students will say, why didn't we ever learn this? Why didn't anybody ever teach us this history growing up? And so I'm very proud that this uh, installation exists and that it's permanent because it's a place where students and, and others, right? Everybody can come to, to, uh, to witness the history, to absorb it um, and to learn something. And so I think it's really important. And again, thank you for, for entrusting me with, with this you know, um, opportunity to write the history. And thank you to those uh, who supported it and to the community who supported it and made sure that it kept going. Thank you. Um, I just heard that Dr. Ava Laredo is in the back. HEC, HEC there she is, hello. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you. In closing, I'd like to share with you a, a, a new and exciting idea that has just emerged. It's nothing official yet. It's still in, a, in a, a, a very early stages of being an idea. But I wanted you all to know that there is some interest in seeing if uh, a feature length video could be created that would more fully capture the wonderful stories of these families and, and of all the, the, of those mentioned here today that just doesn't fit on a panel because there's so much more. So we shall see, you know, that that's something that we've just started talking about. That's, it would be a, a little bit of a ways off, but that's, that's a, a, um, an, another, another step that we may go through. Would y'all like to see that happen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you again, everyone, for being here today to, to celebrate this, this um, ribbon cutting and uh, for representing your families and your organizations.